Solid waste is the useless and unwanted product in the solid state derived from the activities of and discard by society. One of the solid type is plastic waste. Plastic waste has long been a serious issue in the global. According to a 2016 study from World Economic Forum, every year, 6 million metric tons of plastic enter to the ocean and it causing anything from visual pollution to air pollution from incineration, harmful chemicals soaking into soil and water pollution. What are the current issues regarding to solid waste? The worldwide pressure of marine litter is particularly pervasive. A recent paper estimates that there are more than 5 million plastic pieces floating in the sea. And also by 2014, 20 million tons of the plastic we have entering the ocean per annum. At least 40 million tons of plastic end up in the ocean every year. Plastic debris is currently the most abundant type of litter of the in the ocean, making up 80% of all marine debris found from the surface water to deep sea sediment. Under the influence of solar UV radiation, wind, current, and other natural factor pl factors, plastic break, break down into small particles called microplastic. The small size makes them easy for marine life to ingest accidentally. Recently, microplastic were found in human placenta. But more research is needed to determine if this is a wide, widespread problem. Hundreds of species have been found to have plastic fragments, including 83% of all seabed species and 43% of all marine animals. Humans may be harmed by marine animals containing plastic pieces. What are the impact on the society and environment? Marine pollution primarily affects sea turtles and other species whose main food are jellyfish because they often confuse plastic debris for a jellyfish. A similar situation is common in seabirds which can confuse microplastic and cuttlefish or witch fishes, which can mistake plastic debris for their natural prey. Amount of household trash will increase every day because of high demand of online shopping delivery. According to a 2050 study, Malaysia created 0.94 million ton of unmanageable plastic trash in 2010, with 0.14 to 0.37 million ton potentially escaping into the ocean via river, posing a problem for solid waste management. What are the mitigation measures to encounter the problems? Before the authorities collect their solid waste, every household must separate it. This can assist in minimizing solid waste management. All of the solid waste collected in the residential area can be recycled and used to make a new product. This cycle can help to reduce the use of the new raw material in the new product production. Second, educate the general populace of the potential environmental and public health effect of population by plastic waste. There is need for people to be aware of the chemical constituents of plastic products and their health effect. Education curriculum at different levels must include ways of plastic pollution reduction and waste management system as information resources. Well, the first time the issue of water pollution that happened in Malaysia is Kim Kim River toxic pollution. In the investigation, it was believed that the chemical waste were dumped from a lorry tanker into the Kim Kim River. Agency dispatched for the cleanup operation of the pollution river collect 2.43 tons of chemical waste. The Johor Department of Environment have identified the illegally dumped chemical as marine oil, marine oil that emit flammable methane and benzene fumes. This has caused the people surrounding the river to feel sick until there are people who are who were admitted at the hospital into the emergency unit and intensive care unit ICU. Many schools near the river were ordered to shut. Occurred on the 7th of March 2019, caused by illegal chemical waste dumping at the Kim Kim River in Pasir Gudang of Johor in Malaysia. Second current issue is the pollution of Sungai Selangor. Water pollution incident that occurred in 2020 due to illegal dumping chemical waste into the sewer system. On 17 March 2020, four water treatment plants in Sungai Selangor and Rantau Panjang were forced to stop operation after other pollution was detected at raw water intake source in Sungai Selangor, which affecting 1.2 million users in Klangweli, Kuala Lumpur, and Putrajaya, which they share the same water resources. This pollution was believed come from a factory. 
dispensary in Rawasangor where Malaysian police found 40 barrels tar which contain 1,000 liter of chemical waiting for disposal. Here are some mitigation measures of water pollution for each current issues. by conducting surprise inspection and surveillance. Second, they may be sent drones to monitor the river to ensure no one is dumping toxic or other waste into the river. They introduce difficult disposal methods, include incinerations, land disposal, and other injection rails for industrial waste. Impose fines to an irresponsible person and constantly monitor the river area to identify any fish point that do not have any permission or that operate without the permission of the district council. <laughs> 